Good morning. It's Saturday and I am starting a weekend of my life here in New York. Um, I woke up really early today. Honestly, I went to bed really early, so I got foundation in my mouth. Um, so I woke up really early, so I just like rolled around for a while, honestly. Um, but then it was finally time to get up and ready to go. Um, I don't have anywhere to go until a little bit later. I have a lot of stuff going to the post office today and I don't know what like a majority of the boxes are, so it'll be a surprise. Um, I'm kind of concerned like if I have enough like carrying space for them um but yeah anyway i will go to the post office and then meet my friend probably for lunch and maybe like shopping and stuff um honestly i've been going back and forth about you know what happened in the past two days um oh my god i am not emotional about this what's going on um so yeah i have to kind of think through my options about yeah some things um again i have to be very vague if you understand and yeah um, tomorrow I'm also going to be probably meeting up with my, my friend. Um, she really was having a hard time at work this week too. Um, so we're probably gonna like do a food crawl slash drink crawl sort of thing. I don't know if I'm gonna be crawling with the drinks. I'm le likely going to just be eating uh, because, oh, okay. So that friend and I are actually going on a cruise in two weeks. So that was the one silver lining. I don't know if I've told you this. It's like a very small silver lining, um, but like I've been reading stories online about people who get cut from their offices when they're on vacation or like they're on like some sort of like leave of absence or like they're on a work trip and suddenly they get locked out of all their accounts stuff like that and that was the only one silver lining of uh, me being on a cruise where I don't have any internet that it was like I was like oh man I'm gonna be like stressed out about me getting cut like the week after I get out, out of my trip or like I'm gonna get cut when I'm on my trip like um it's just like a very not great time right now it's everybody's a little bit on edge um I think like all of my friends are on edge right now it's not like a um, company specific thing um there's only like a couple of industries i think that are like pretty safe <laughs> but that's just my opinion i'm not in finance or anything it's just like from what i'm reading in the news um so yeah it's kind of like a rough time to try to find jobs um i would say that like one particular job category is very rough right now and that would be it or some sort of tech recruiting firms um yeah because those are like the hugest layoffs that you see in the news anyway i am rambling at this point about the depression of the reading the news about finances and the economy um so i'm gonna go make my coffee now i'm a little bit hungry but also not very hungry i feel like always the weeks after i go to costco my eating schedule is like very weird um because like i'm only one person but then i buy stuff because it sounded good in the moment and then i after i buy it oh it sounds good and the price is good you know and then after the moment and then i get it out from the instacart order i'm like oh yeah this is costco you know <laughs> I cannot open this. I've been trying for like 10 minutes and it's not opening. So that's very annoying. And I don't have any other sauce. So fun. Eating plain noodles, I guess. I thought this was a puffin and I thought it was cute, but it's a penguin. Not as cute. Really? Maybe they're going against the other art schools. It's the edge. the edge. I just got a free beer. Going to get our free drinks. There's also a menu. another coupon so this is the gigawatt and this one is the no resolution um both of them are IPAs. still at hudson yards but these sweaters are so funny i sent it to my friend with kids and then i was like wait i saw another one and then i read this
Okay, so I'm obviously back home. I've been home for a while. I don't even know what I've been doing. I've been drinking water, honestly. Um, I'm kind of dehydrated. Um, but yeah, I'm like overly full too. Um, so we got the half half chicken with two sides, which ended up being like a lot of food actually, um, because we didn't realize that it also came with fries with the half half chicken. Um, but it was like very reasonably priced. It was like both of us left with like full meals for whenever we eat them next. I was gonna say tomorrow, but who knows. Um, but we both left the, like full containers and um we ate our fill and it was like less than $30 per person after tip which is kind of amazing actually um especially because I had a beer because I wanted to make today um and yeah so anyway that is the update went to Hudson Yards got a hat actually um it's a long story but I have never bought a hat successfully in my life because my head is like oddly small um my face is big but my head is small so um I tried on like 15 hats and I couldn't find anything um found one at H&M actually. Uh, I have bought one, I'm pointing behind me because they're over there, from Amazon because I read the reviews and it says that it ran small so I'm hoping that one fits as well um, but honestly I'll probably return it because the H&M one was significantly cheaper um, but I was like oh, okay I am here I see a hat <laughs> it kind of fits my head and it's like $13 um, because I assume I'm gonna like break it or lose it or something so I didn't want to invest too much in it otherwise my friend did say she really likes hers from BCBG is that the brand um, anyway so I'm going to likely return the Amazon hat and then also I bought a couple of Amazon sundresses um, slash casual summer dresses and I'm gonna try them on hopefully this weekend I don't know honestly now that I'm unemployed it's like I can do whatever I want on the week's days um, while still like looking for employment. Um, so anyway, going to do that as well. And then on top of that, what else did I do? I bought some socks, so that's exciting. And we went to K-Town, walked around. It was actually really cold today. Um, it was like maybe like six degrees, like wind chill in the morning time, not morning, I didn't leave in the morning, in the early afternoon time when I left. And then um, it warmed up at like, the middle afternoon time and then by the time we got back the wind was like not as bad but it was like cold again um but yeah the trains were also super messed up this day um anyway i am going to sign out now because i'm saying anyway way too much and i will talk to you in the morning i do have some extra plans tomorrow i'm probably gonna go back to hustling yards actually um didn't realize that until just now that i'm going twice in a week um but yeah so i also made some too good to go um orders so we'll see if i ever get around to those tomorrow and that's the update so i'll talk to you later okay good morning so this is sunday and i am getting ready for the day i have you like in a very bad angle right now um but yeah so today i got up and um kind of rolled around for a few hours um it's just sunday you know and i have some plans later this afternoon so before i go out with my friend i need to do some tidying around here but i guess it doesn't matter now that i'm unemployed like i can tidy during the weekday and then i also have um some filming that i want to get done some editing i want to get done and things like that um i also need to do my laundry but i'll probably do that honestly in the week because it's less busy down there and then on top of that what else is going on oh i wanted to review this mascara not that anyone cares because i'm not a beauty influencer but um i got this in a boxy charm and according to the bottom here i got it in february 2022 um i just started using it about about a month ago oh no a couple months ago um so it's probably on the last legs because i like to um rotate out my mascaras every three months or so just because i'm worried about bacteria basically my eyes i'm like so paranoid about losing um but yeah this one is the stila huge extreme lash mascara i have one coat on and um i have very sparse eyelashes and they're getting sparser i think it's stress honestly all my hair is falling out um but it's okay and it's very like lengthening and voluminizing but the thing is is it's not waterproof and for me um i number one have really like watery eyes and then i also have oily eyelids and then on top of that is winter and i'm still wearing masks because i don't want to get sick number one <laughs> And also because it's cold out and having a mask on really helps actually. Um, I took it off yesterday when I was like walking because I was like, oh my gosh, it's getting so condensation. It's like all over my mouth inside this mask. But I took it off. I was like, oh, I have to put it back on. It's so cold. Anyway, so because of that, um, it has condensation and like steam. <laughs> that steam coming up out of the mask and then it hits my um, eyelashes so then the mascara always is underneath my eyes so um, this one is not my favorite 
just because. I do think like a benefit of having beauty boxes is that you're able to try mascaras and stuff like this that you don't have to pay full price for and then sometimes you get clinkers but sometimes you get good stuff um, and a lot of people are not like me and kind of um, they don't try to use up everything that they always get, you know? There's only been a handful of products that I have gotten rid of just because it reacted so poorly with my skin. Otherwise, I just try to use up everything um, all the time because I just hate wasting stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, I have quite a few other stuff. Maybe I'll give you a quick tour of what's going on at my desk here um, because I have some interesting products that I've been kind of trying just because I've been traveling and like going home and stuff for the holidays. And I have quite a few that are like almost very close to being empty so I can finally replace them because I've been like, you know, going through them for a while. Okay, so I haven't put my eyebrows on yet, but I have been using this one. It's from LA Girl. Um, I got it because I had a gift certificate, or not like a gift certificate. You know like how CVS always sends me like $5 off fi free product? Um, so I b got this. I got it in chestnut. It's a little bit light. Um, honestly, the um, eyebrow pencil itself is a little bit not as soft as I typically like. It's kind of like waxier, and it kind of feels like I'm kind of, um, you know, pushing pretty hard to get color payoff. And... I just realized now how gross my desk is, so I apologize. Um, so I already talked about this mascara. I've been using this, um, it's from Estate. I got it in a BoxyCharm um, and I opened it. Actually, no, I must've gotten these both together because I have BC222. Um, so these must have come in the same box, um, but I actually like this. Um, eyeliner so it's a liquid eyeliner but it has a felt tip and i don't typically like felt tip just because they're harder for me to use um but this one is actually quite waterproof and it is still hard for me to use because i feel like i have to drag a lot more with a felt tip um but i do like this product actually over here i have estee lauder um i have been using this just because i have some like dry irritation underneath my eyelid not my eyelids my eyes um so i have been using this to try to tame it a little bit um have the sephora clean skin gel i don't think this is very good um i used it because it said that in the review from allure beauty box that this is supposed to be really good for like taking off makeup it didn't really work for me um i have this Cle de Peu, um Boutte, uh cleansing foam and this one's like a japanese brand i actually like this one it's really soft but it has a lot of fragrance in it so if you don't like fragranced products um i would say probably want to steer clear of this i can't remember where i got it i think i got sent a sample in the mail um i have been using this i don't think i would repurchase this honestly i don't think it really did that much for me um and then i have my uh handy dandy allergy meds um and then i have some peel pads i probably need to get rid of the bottom peel pad um, because that one's pretty old um but both of them worked pretty well i got some these in pr so um exuvian's one has kind of a strong scent and then this one is the dr zenobia glycolic acid control no glycolic acne control peel pads and i think this one works pretty well um i use it whenever i feel like a breakout's gonna come uh, i have the misha product i really like this actually and yeah i would highly recommend getting it it works really well and i don't typically see that much results from or that many results sorry from the toners and i think this one works pretty well and i also have this power bright dark spot serum from dermalogica i got this in pr um i think it works okay um i think it's very pricey i think it's like 98 dollars <laughs> let me know if i'm wrong um but yeah i think it's like quite pricey and I think it like worked okay, but I don't think it necessarily did too much. Um, it's also like hard to review skincare because you don't know what it would have been like if you didn't use it. Um, and then I have this Sunday Riley product. It's fine. Um, I have another tube of it, so I'll go through another one. But um, I don't know if I would purchase that if I'm being honest. I didn't see as many like strong effects of it as I have seen from other eye cream. Over here I have my serums that I'm using. So I have this Wander Beauty one. All of the writing's coming off of it, but this is a sightseer one. I don't think I'm seeing any brightening results from it, honestly. Um, and I don't think I would repurchase it. Um, I got it in, where did I get it? Couldn't tell you. Um, I think it was a boxy term. It might've been in a lower, um, but wherever I got it, it was a sub subscription box. I don't think it really does that much. Um, I got this hyaluronic acid serum from BoxyCharm. It's just like a very simple serum. I don't think it really does as much and it's not like a very complex formula, um, but it, it does what it does. This is the Ulla Henriksen Glow Tuo Dark Spot Toner. I think this actually works pretty well. Um, I just have a little bit left, so I'm going to try to finish this up in the next week or so. Um, I maybe would have purchased it, but I also have like a bunch of other toners that are slightly cheaper than this um, that I would actually prefer. And then up here, got 
this. Um, I'm almost done with this Ulla Henriksen. I got it in the holiday pack with that um, Glow Tool. Um, and this one's like an okay cream. I think I have another refill because I got it last month, I think, in BoxyCharm. Um, I think it's an okay cream, but it smells like really strongly like orange sherbet. Um, and it kind of lingers and it's a little bit sticky, if I'm being honest. Um, so uh, I don't know if I would pay full price for it, but I have another one, so I'm going to use it. Um, this bottom one here is actually really nice. This one is a... Uh, Dr. Dennis Gross, a ferulic, and retinol. Um, I only use this like once a week just because sometimes retinol does not agree with my skin. And I think it's okay, but I don't know if I would pay full price because I'm honestly not sure if I'm seeing any results because I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. Um, I have this one here, which is the Beauty Stat. And this one is actually full size and I got it in Allure Beauty Box in um, 2021, December. Um, I actually think this is a really nice product. It's kind of like, um, kind of like a gel ointment consistency but it soaks in really well it doesn't have like an exclusive effect on my skin at least um, but I do really like it and then here is this I honestly probably should get rid of this it's the Kate Somerville retinol vitamin C moisturizer I'm gonna actually execute a decision I only have a little bit left of this but I've had it open for a long time so I'm gonna get rid of it and then um, this product I actually really like and I gave my mom the extra one I had um, for Christmas and she really likes it as well um, it has like kind of an interesting texture it's kind of like an oil um, but it's like an oil serum it's very interesting um, and it doesn't irritate my skin or anything like that because sometimes I do have issues with retinol and this one hasn't had a problem um, and then this is a classic this is the Innisfree serum with green tea um, it is quite hydrating I just use this for travel so um, I'm probably gonna take it with me on my cruise um, this is from Vifesta and this is a cleansing lotion um, I took this on vacation with me and back home I think and this is yeah cleansing lotion sebum and it's for combination oily skin um it actually works pretty well so i'm probably going to take this on in my cruise as well i actually really like this product too this is from shiny darden and this is the retinol reform product and it's like kind of like a serum it has a very interesting color it's kind of like a cream shell cream shell <laughs> eggshell cream color um kind of yellowish um it's really nice actually it's very light it did not irritate my skin I'm like almost done with this. I got this as a sample from Allure Beauty Box. This is from Piliani. It's the self-care recovery oil. Um, I'm not sure what it's supposed to do. Um, it's slightly scented, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be because there's so many essential oils in it. Um, it's kind of like a light, really light oil, so I don't know. Um, it's not as much as like this serum, for example. This one's like a really heavy oil. I got this from, an, um, what's it called? All True Box. Um, this one, I don't think the company's in business anymore, so honestly, I probably should see if this is expired. Um, I only just started using it a couple months ago, so I think it should be okay in terms of um, being open, but I don't know. Um, have this Volition Cream. I really like this. It's the Celery Green Cream. Probably will take this on my cruise too, just because I love having <laughs> so many layers of moisturizer available. Um, it's a really nice cream, actually, and I highly recommend this one, and also the Snow Mushroom Serum. That one was so good. Um, I haven't used the Frank Body. Um, here is... Um, uh, what is this? Oh yeah, this is my eye cream. Um, I'm using this Vitabrid serum. I think this is okay. I don't know if I would purchase it again. This is the eye cream I was talking about. So this is from Aldenis. Um, I think it's pretty good. It has kind of an odd scent, but I think that's what it's supposed to smell like because it doesn't have that any added fragrance or anything. Um, it's kind of thicker than I thought it would be. It really is truly like a balm. In here, um, in this airless pump, I put the... Oh gosh, what's the brand? It's a Korean brand. It's a watery cream and it's like really watery. So I had to put in this airless pump because I was like getting frustrated trying to dig it out of the um, container with a spatula because um, it just slides around everywhere. Um, but I haven't tried the Frank Body and then this is just um, an acne toner from Etude House just in case I need it. But that's the uh, updates there. Otherwise, hope this was interesting. Chelsea Market again. It's kind of nice. Some new stores. It's Super Saturday, as they say. They're all cute. That one can't see anything though. There's people bumper carring by themselves. <laughs> what a cool date. <laughs>
have a good pantry. Okay, so it's finally time for bed. Um, I wanted to go to bed a while ago, but I have forgot that I did not edit and upload my YouTube video for tomorrow. Um, so that'll be the boxy charm for February. Honestly, that box was kind of not so good. Um, by the time you see this, I'm probably way off of the PR list. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's the first time I've gotten like a repeat of an item that I've gotten like years ago. Um, so that was a little bit shocking to me. I mean, it would have been a little bit less abrupt, I guess, of a shock if it would have been like a mascara, but this was an eyeshadow palette and um, they changed like the packaging slightly, but it's like still the same shades and everything on the inside. It's just like some of the aesthetics is a little bit different. This is the guy here. Um, so instead of it being a blue bowl and a gold spoon, it's pink bowl and pink spoon. And honestly, I'm not sure if that's just because like maybe, um, I'm not seeing on here that this was made specifically for FabFitFun and the other one was made specifically for um, BoxyCharm, um, but I don't know, maybe that was the difference? I don't know, I didn't see anything like that on any of it, but I also didn't look, so um, I'm not making any judgments or any sort of assertions there. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like an okay box, I guess. Um, otherwise, yeah, everything else was kind of like whatever. Um, the mascara I will use, obviously, because I do like that brand. It's just like kind of expensive. So it's usually like $28. Um, so that's a little bit too pricey for me, um, especially because I get beauty boxes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. Um, my friend and I hung out all afternoon. Um, went to Chelsea Market at first. We didn't find anything we really wanted. Both of us were like not very hungry. I think we're both depressed. <laughs> And yeah, so um, walked around there and then we decided to go to this cake shop and I don't know how to pronounce it and she was like, yeah, I watch a lot of British Bake Off and I'm like, I've never watched that. Um, it's like Antremet um, or Antreme maybe. Um, it's a cake shop so it has like a mousse but it has like a sponge cake on the inside. They were really good. Um, I would say that I probably would not purchase the black sesame one again just because it was a little bit lackluster in my opinion and my flavor profile. Um, I typically love black sesame stuff um, but this one wasn't very black sesame forward. It had like the black sesame texture of like the the ground up sesame seeds but it wasn't like super black sesame flavored. Um, my friend said it was like very flavorful and black sesame but I didn't think it was. Um, it had like um, green tea cake on the inside which I thought was a little bit interesting and then also some strawberry filling I think um, the one that we both agreed on was it was actually like a purple rain or something like that um, it was a basically like a coconut um, cake and it had um, ube on the inside which is the purple yam or purple sweet potato um, that one was like a really complex like really savory yet sweet and kind of um, very subtly flavored but also like kind of punchy at the same time. It's kind of hard to describe. Um, if you don't like coconut, you would not like it. Um, but that one was definitely both of our favorites. The uh, bunny one was cute, like super duper cute. Um, honestly, I don't think it was like my number one favorite one. Um, I feel like maybe um, we just got taken away because it was cute. And also it's like for Chinese New Year for the year of the rabbit or whatever. Um, and we had both seen it on, well, I mean, I sent it to her, but um, on Instagram. So anyway, so we got that. We were the last one in the case and then as we were sitting there I like refreshed my too good to go and it turns out I could have bought a box um, from there so I could have gotten a too good to go box from um, that particular shop as we were sitting there um, and I would have been able to grab something at the end but um, they had a mango one that sounds pretty good so maybe I'll take my sister because I feel like she'd get a kick out of that place um, and then we went back up to Hudson Yards via the Highline um, and it was like oddly crowded at the Highline I don't know why but we went to Hudson Yards we're gonna go to the little Spain because we were looking to eventually go to like a food court um, but when we got there it wasn't really speaking to us and both of us weren't actually that hungry so then um, we ended up just wandering around and went up to the um, Bronx brewery again um, so basically they were giving out red envelopes um, so yesterday I got one as well 
um, for a free beer and my friend pulled one and she also got a free beer um, and we both sat there and we had a couple of beers and a guacamole and yeah just kind of chatted and made our plans for our cruise and stuff like that so that is the update for now so I'm gonna sign out on this weekend in my life and I'll start another <laughs> unemployed week in my life in New York City for next week as well. Um, just got a bunch of stuff to do around the house and also like life stuff that I've been putting off like my taxes. So super fun. Um, obviously not showing you that, but I'm going to be doing my taxes this week. Um, I'm also interviewing some new tax preparers just because I had such a bad time last year with my tax preparer. So I need to find a new one um, as well. So anyway, that's the fun stuff going on adult life here. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Follow me on Instagram and also consider subscribing etc if you're interested in seeing what I do in my daily life and also my unboxings and spoilers etc so see you then bye